This is Simon Wu with Game Insight Productions, and I'm here with the lovely Miss Jen Taylor. Oh, I love that. That's a great way to introduce me. The Cortana <laughs> in the Halo series. Um, now, in addition to your role as Cortana in the past few Halo games, you've also assumed the role of Dr. Catherine Halsey, mm-hmm. her source. Yeah. Um, how, how do you feel about that? I Because, you know... Re- uh, as she's presented in Halo 4, especially, um, it seems like she's being, she's complicated and she's really being vilified, but perhaps a little retroactively, a little bit in 2020 hindsight. It's really fun to play a character where you're not sure where she is morally, where she's morally ambiguous. Because, um, people can put whatever they want on her and completely go down the track and then I can surprise the heck out of you either way. So it's a joy to get to play her. I feel um, very honored to play that part. And now, one of the new creative directions that 343 Industries, who is here at RTX this weekend, one of the creative directions they took was uh, to have Master Chief talk a lot more. Yeah. Uh, And correspondingly, one of the things that happens is Cortana has to talk a lot more. And one of, that was one of the central points of the story that she was, uh, you know, coming up on the age of rampancy and talking about a lot deeper things, kind of soliloquize, uh, mo- having a lot of monologues. <laughs> Can't even remember the word. Um, how do you feel about that creative direction? Well, of course, for me, it's a blast. <laughs> I get, you know, I get a lot more to do emotionally. I get to explore the character in a deeper, more intense way. It's wonderful. And of course, I love to talk. That's what I do. (laughs) I'm being made to talk. So that's a joy. Yeah, it's it was really interesting. And I got to see the whole story this time, um, which doesn't always happen in video games. Sometimes you just get to see your lines. So I got to explore the whole thing and really go through the story with everybody. So now, in addition to playing Cortana and Halsey, you've also acted alongside Earl Alexander, who's oh. with there, um, as Zoe in yeah. Left 4 Dead, and as Princess Peach in some of the early Mario games. Um, what were they like, and in comparison, if similar or probably different, to Cortana and Halsey? Well, with Zoe, uh, they had actually cast somebody else to play the part, and I came in at the last minute to uh, step in and, and do her role. So that felt... Um, kind of last, you know, very last minute. We had only a couple sessions, I think, to figure her out. Uh, And then we came back later and got to do the, I believe it was just the trailer with everybody all in the same room, which was really fun. Earl and I have done plays together. So we did In a Shallow Grave together at Book It Repertory Theater. So we're buddies from the past. It's always nice to see him. And um, how's it different than Cortana? Cortana I've been working on for over a decade now, so I feel like I know her really well. And it's fun to learn more about her and to explore that relationship. I almost have a relationship with Cortana, Mm -hmm. um, and it's fun to step back into that and to feel comfortable, more and more comfortable each time. And so you mentioned uh, your part as Zoe was kind of a rushed job. Was the... uh, uh, was was the direction that they wanted to take her different from yours? What was kind of the process in figuring out who exactly she was going to be, what kind of things she was going to be like? Oh, no. My take is exactly what the person who is employing me wants it to be. <laughs> That's what I'm going for. What you want me to create is what I'm going to create for you. That's a good voiceover actor. <laughs> All right. And um, so for some time, voice actors seem to be treated as kind of the second-class citizens in Hollywood. Um, but recently, do you feel like that gap is narrowing? And especially in terms of how voice actors are now also being increasingly chosen for kind of the personalities that they're able to project as we have kind of Pixar sequels and vi- sequels of video games where you have voice actors come in over and over, these same voice actors uh, for many different titles. Yeah. Um, you know, I don't, as far as Hollywood goes, I don't live in Hollywood, so I don't really know that world very well. Um, in Seattle, actors are all, if you're working, you're happy. <laughs> um, whatever, you know, type of job you are getting. However, I think that as far as voiceovers and animation and Pixar, um, we're more interested in, a lot of times it seems, we're really interested in movie stars because we, yes, as you say, we know their personality, we know who they are, we're excited about them. Um, which to me, of course, is worrying because I'm 
you know, a working character actor. Uh, I don't know. I, I think somebody asked me earlier about motion capture and how we're starting to look more like the characters. And I think, um, I've never felt second class, but I think that maybe you're right. Maybe we're moving towards being considered a little more legitimate, if you will. All right. And our last question, yeah. the best line you've ever had to give, it put you on the spot, but from all these the games. Best line. Actually, this is the line, this is the sound that won my boyfriend. This is Toad going around a corner in Mario Kart. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> All right. Yeah. And we'll leave that at that. Thank you very, very much, Mr. Taylor. Welcome.